Picking up right where we left off, let's head over to switch two and run show spanning VLAN 21 first. And you might say, hey, there was no VLAN 21. Well, yeah, that's absolutely correct. And I wanted to show you the message we get when you run this. And it doesn't mean anything horrible. It probably just means you mistyped a number. But this spanning tree instance, because we are running per VLAN spanning tree, each VLAN will have its own instance of spanning tree running. And since there is no VLAN 21, then the spanning tree instance for VLAN 21 cannot be created. It does not exist because VLAN 21 does not exist. With that in mind, let's type the number one correctly this time and see what we get. And we get kind of the same fields, but there's some different information in there in different places. We also see some different values. So let's take it from the top and also talk about the four ways you can tell that you are not on the root. The first one, we don't see the phrase, this bridge is the root. And there is no such thing as the phrase, this bridge is not the root. <laughs> the, the switch is gonna make us figure that out. But if you don't see this bridge is the root, then you're not on the root. That's the easy one. Let's look at the information under root ID in this particular instance of show spanning VLAN 1. We see a priority of 32769. Then we see a MAC address, a cost, a port, and then some timers. Now, the thing is with that address, actually, let me, let me address, no pun intended, the priority first. The default is 32768, and the VLAN ID is going to be added to that. So you will see this change as we create some other VLANs and look at some other SDP instances in the next couple of videos. But all this is is 32768 plus 1. That's it. So what about this address? Here's a MAC address under root ID, and here's a different one under bridge ID, which means we are not on the root. And here's why. Again, this information next to root ID, this all has to do with values on the root bridge. And we know we're not on it because the MAC address of the root bridge is 0017, etc. And the MAC address of the local switch, that's what we find under bridge ID, and that is 001C, etc. So we're good to go there. We know again that we are not on the root. Now, let's, before we get to the other two, notice we have a cost value here that we didn't have over on switch one. Remember that. We're going to get to the port costs in the next video or two and we'll see them in action live. But just keep that one in mind. With the port, this is uh, port 13 is the port on the remote switch uh, on the bridge, excuse me, the root bridge. So we know that's 13, and the fast Ethernet 0 slash 11 we see here, that's the local port that's communicating with it. Because we run show CDP neighbor, we can verify that. Let me slide that over just a tad, and you can see there's 0, 013, and that's what's being referred to here. And then the local port faster than Ethernet 0 slash 11, there it is right there. So that's the cost and the port that's the ports it's referring to, the cost we're going to cover in another video or two. But do make note of that, that it's 19, because it looks like we have 19 here somewhere else for cost. Let me run show spanning VLAN 1 by itself there and kind of clear the screen of the other stuff. Because now we need to talk about the two other ways we know that we're not on the root. And the thing is, our non-roots will have root ports. And you can see that out of the two ports that are in VLAN 1 right now, the only ports on the switch that are actually open, and you can see that 011 is the root port and 12 is ALTN for alternate. So when you see a root port, you know you're not on the root switch. We are going to talk about how that root port got chosen as well. Finally, the fourth way that you can tell that you're not on the root is finally we have a port in blocking mode. Probably beginning to wonder. Well, the root port is always going to be in forwarding mode, and our alternate ports are going to be in blocking mode, BLK. So the interesting thing here is that out of the four involved ports, only one of them has been put into blocking mode. Hmm. And like me, I mean, the first time I ever looked at STP and heard what it did and the whole thing, I thought that two of the ports here would be in blocking mode. And actually, it's just one. So both of the ports, again, on switch one are in forwarding mode, and only one of them on switch two is in blocking mode. That is it for looking at the results of a root bridge election. We're definitely going to influence them. We're going to come back to these commands as well. But coming up next, I want to talk to you about the importance of these timers and exactly what they are. We've got a hello time. 
We got a max age, we got a forward delay. We got to know what those are and we have to know how to change them correctly because the switch might not help us in that regard. And I'll be back right back with that in just a minute. 